New York City, the center of international commerce. New Yorkers think it's the center of the world, but it's unquestionably the restaurant mecca. When it comes to restaurants in New York, you're talking big business and you're talking big bucks. Nobody's bigger business than my old buddy, Jean-Georges Van Der Richten. Jean-Georges has opened so many restaurants that I've lost count. Jean-Georges has opened so many restaurants that he's probably lost count. But it's not only about quantity with Jean-Georges. He's the most talented chef I know. When people ask me, who's the greatest chef you've cooked with? The answer is Jean-Georges. We've traveled together, we've cooked together, we've written books together. But our friendship is not going to stop me from going in to do battle with him right now. Jean-Georges may look like an altar boy, but when it comes to food, he's a rule-breaking revolutionary. When he was young, the Alsatian sensation set sail from his native France and landed in Thailand. He discovered the flavors of Southeast Asia, and the rest is history. You might think the intervening 20 years would slow him down, but this restlessly creative boy wonder keeps circling the globe to discover new flavors. Jean-Georges, I don't know how you do it. This is like your 15th restaurant you're opening now. You got Shanghai coming online and Delhi and <laughs> you've been to Tokyo, Hong Kong, you know, Vegas, Chicago, everything. You know, as I say to my chef all the time, it's easier to uh, open a new restaurant than changing the menu. Today on How to Cook Everything, Bittman, a man who thinks Discovery is a TV channel, takes on the Marco Polo of the kitchen, Jean-Georges Vangerichten.